Jamie, fantastic win this afternoon. The lads had to battle for it in really difficult conditions out there. Must be a good gesture, them though. It is, yeah. Um, just said to them there, you know, we have to enjoy it because um, the past two games we've been in there, um, obviously the Chester and the Warrington, really disappointed that we've never took three points. Um, I would say I think we we performed better in the previous two games and not picked up the three points. But like you say, we've we've had to dig deep at times, and you know I'm delighted for um, for the back line. I'm delighted for the front players. You know, clean sheet goals goals again you know so it's a big win for us um you know after after two frustrating draws um but really nice to get back to winning ways today yeah we had chances in the first half to have really taken the game away from her and once we hadn't done that they really did give us a test in time in the second half didn't they yeah a good side um i know they've had a bit of an indifferent spell but they've got some really effective players that we'd spoke about before the game um i thought for 20 25 minutes i thought we were absolutely outstanding i thought some of the football we played the chances we created was was exceptional the drinks break probably didn't help us um, they regrouped they changed the system a little bit which caused us a few problems so we had to adjust um and you know we like like we say we we had to dig a little bit deep certainly in that second half it wasn't the start that we wanted we wanted to be a little bit more um, aggressive with our play a um, little bit better on the front foot but you know credit to them they um, they really got at us they pinned us in down the bank and um, you know it was a it was a really well worked goal that got us to win in the end so we've got to be happy that we've stuck at it and obviously had that bit of quality to finish the game first goal the uh, credit for for Josh Papula his first goal for for the club getting in on the end of a, a set piece how pleased are you for him I'm pleased for me as well, Andy Innes because he's been banging on about us scoring from set plays. He works on them relentlessly and um, it was one of his that's, that's come off the training ground. So the celebrations were, were with him. But um, yeah, delighted for Josh. Um, I thought he looked a real threat today. Um, you know, he's played a part in two goals on Tuesday night and we, we had to take him off towards the end with a little bit of tightness around his hamstring. He was 50-50 whether he was going to be available today. Um, he didn't train with us Thursday and was at Stockport. But he's come in and put a good performance in. Um, he, he looked lively, was a threat and um, delighted for him to get his goal as well. And how much did it tell us about the fitness and the mentality of the lads in the second half? Because in these conditions, it must have been really, really trying to, to not have a lot of the ball in that second period as well. Yeah, the, the heat was absolutely ridiculous and, um, you know, one thing we did speak about massively before the game was our ball retention today, you know, certainly in possession, can we look after the ball and, like I say before, for... 25 30 minutes I thought we'd done that exceptionally well um up until probably the 70th minute we, we were a little bit sloppy in possession we we could have used the ball a little bit better um again credit to them because they stopped us from playing but we felt we could have been a little bit braver and, and made better angles and you know looked after the ball a bit better but like you say the, the mental fitness the physical fitness of the players today to put that shift in you know I'm, I'm still seeing them closing the ball down 95th minute and putting the bodies on the line and blocking cross and stuff and they're an unbelievable group unbelievable group to work with and you know we've had a little bit of disappointment in the past two games a little bit of frustration but they've got to enjoy that today because um you know man for man they were, they were exceptional out there at times and the second goal again will harris it's uh glenn taylor's not used to seeing someone else at the top of the scoring chart is he oh yeah he's, he's gonna be knocking on my door soon <laughs> <laughs> no but glenn played a great part in it it's a, it's a lovely reverse ball in the rammer and then rammer's pass you know the, the runs equally is good but the finish is you know that's a player in confidence and um he's absolutely flying at the minute and um i think i've said it a few times on here he's a real pleasure to work with you know he's he's had to do a job on the left for us um today he's had to do a job on the right for us when we flipped the system and, and stuff over the past two games and he puts his thumb up and, and he accepts it and gets on with it and that's testament to his character he's, he's brilliant to work with and the finish is absolutely unbelievable and now just you know after a really hectic period as august turned into september we can now just have a little bit of a breather before the FA Cup next week. Yeah, we see, we obviously switch our attention to that quickly. Um, you know, we've we've already done a little bit of sort of research and analysing of Marine because we know it's going to be a tough game. They've got a really good team on paper, um, and they've started really well this season. So we'll have to be at our best. You know, we can't take our foot off the gas. You know, we want to try and have a, a decent run in the cup competitions and enjoy them as well. So we'll get back to the hard work on Tuesday. Um, obviously, the, it's important the players go and enjoy the night tonight. Um, you know, and everybody at the club connected because it's been a real busy week busy period and um, it's really good to, to you know send their fans home with three points as well because they've been superb